So what you're saying, what you're saying is the reason that those BRCA mutations famously link to breast cancer is not because 100% of the breast cancers require those mutations. It's because if you have the mutation, it indicates you definitely have that mitochondrial dysfunction. But even if you don't have that mutation, you can still have mitochondrial dysfunction, which is why you observe both the mutation and the absence of the mutation with breast cancer. Yes. That's, and, and also, uh, 50% of the women that have the mutation uh, get, get breast cancer, but, but 50% of them that have the mutation do not get breast cancer. Hmm. So why do the women with the have the mutation don't get breast cancer? It seems that in those women, the mutation was never capable of damaging oxidative phosphorylation, even though the mutation was there. The oxphos continued to function effectively in the presence of the mutation. People say, well, what could cause that? Well, in genetics, we've known from, we know what we call suppressor genes. These are, these are other genes in the genome that suppress the action of one gene. So how does suppressor genes work to, to reduce penetrance of some of these uh, inherited risk factors? And the answer answer is, uh, we don't know precisely uh, how that works, but, but certainly an er area of very interesting uh, study. You know, why, why should somebody with a, you know, with a leaf round many, leaf round many is the, is the most pe penetrant of all the inherited risk factors. And it's, it codes for um, cytochrome, the synthesis of cytochrome C2, uh, which affects the electron transport chain. That's about 90% penetrant. Well, what explains the 10% that have the mutation? 